Waxahachie ISD is a growing school district that embraces innovative curriculum and teaching methods while still honoring our traditions of excellence. Our academic programs and exceptional teachers and staff allow every student to excel on every campus every day. Waxahachie ISD's fine arts, athletic, career and technical education, and other extracurricular programs are respected throughout the state for their long histories of success. We are proud to be a vital part of the city of Waxahachie as we work hard each day to educate the next generation of our city's leaders. We are Hatchie Forever. Well tried. Hello, welcome back to Becky's Kitchen. I'm Becky Lynn and I have a very special co-host today, Chef Alex Atwood, who just happens to be my grandson. He just turned 11 last week, but he has been cooking, I'm not kidding, ever since he could reach the camber. He loves to cook, and he's quite good. Alex, what is your favorite thing to cook? Roast beef. You like roast beef? How do you fix it? Salt, pepper, anything that goes with it. And you put it in the oven? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But last week or a couple weeks ago, Alex cooked dinner for his whole family of eight, and he made what? A pork tenderloin. And what else? Um, some tortillas some rolls, some vegetables. And not only that, he fixed a table for two just for his parents. He had placemats, he had flowers so that his parents could have a date night. And then he fixed another table for his five other siblings. Now that, that is really cool. Well, Alex and I have found this cute recipe we wanna do. Well, actually we're doing two things today. We're doing dinner and dessert, but guess what? We're gonna do dessert first because who wouldn't like to have dessert first? And we're gonna make these cute little, they're called gobbler goodies. And they would be so perfect for like decorations on your Thanksgiving table or uh, to give to the neighbors, a little surprise for the neighbors. And, the, and such a wonderful project for the kids, you and your kids during uh, the holidays to sit at the table and make these precious little gobbler goodies. So, it's really pretty easy. You don't have to cook anything but the uh, Rice Krispie treats. So I'm gonna get the ingredients. And I'm gonna tell you that last week when Alex and I made them, we actually made the Rice Krispie treats. And it is a fourth a cup of butter, four cups of marshmallows that you melt over low heat, and then you pour six cups of Rice Krispies in there. Mush it all around. And then we had to put butter all over our hands and make them into these little one and a half inch balls. And it was fun, uh, but you have to wait for a while because it's too hot at first. So I thought in the interest of time, I would pre-make these. And the recipe for marshmallow treats is on every single Rice Krispie box. So anyway, there's our little Rice Krispie balls. That's gonna be the body of the turkeys. Now, Oreos. So you take uh, chocolate Oreos is what we did last week, but I tried uh, some blonde ones and you twist them apart and you scrape out the filling. And what did we do with the filling? Uh, did nothing. Nothing, but we had some ideas. Anyway, I know some people just eat the filling. I just eat the cookie part, but anyway, these are uh, the base, the foundation you might say of our turkeys. Here's our glue. If you're doing the chocolate Oreos, you will use chocolate frosting. If you're doing blonde Oreos, I would recommend vanilla frosting. And these little corn candies will be wings and feathers and even the beak. And then the recipe called for malted milk balls, and I looked, I couldn't even find any. So I found these, and these are called chocolate dots, and I think they're just like, they're made by Hershey's. They're M&Ms on steroids and they worked fine. And then I did find some malted milk balls and these are better. So that's, that's our basic thing. One other thing, candy eyeballs. Now you don't have to buy them and you can actually use a little white frosting, but I got this whole little pack in the baking, in the baking section. So I have candy eyeballs for anything I wanna make for a long time to come. So I'm gonna have an assembly line here. Alex discovered uh, an easier way to do the wings than what was in the directions. It says glue them on with the frosting and the wings kept falling off. 
So he decided if you just ram them into the side of the Rice Krispie ball, it would be easier and they don't fall out. So that's the first thing you do. You get the wings on the body. Okay, now let's get our glue open. Okay, Alex, what are we gonna do next? What are we gonna do with these, these Oreos that we have here? We're gonna put chocolate frosting on them. On both insides of them, and that's our glue, and then we're just gonna, and put a good amount because that, is going to glue on the, uh, the corn candy and it's also going to glue to the body. So we need enough of that. I think I'll do blonde. Uh, do I have one? Yes, I have one with wings also. If I'm doing blonde, I would better stick with the white frosting here. You know, you say, well, why didn't you just leave the white? white filling that was already in there instead of scraping it out and putting more in there. Well, I don't think it would be gluey enough. It might be, you could try it, I guess. All right, now it's time to put on the tail feathers. And it's best to do this before you glue it to the turkey. Just put five candy corns around one side of it there. I start in the middle and I kind of fan out. It doesn't really matter. And you can also use the candy corn that's yellow instead of brown. This is just what my friend found for me and so I was happy to get that. Now, you have the frosting on the bottom here. So the next step after you get the tail feathers in is to Stick the body on the bottom part right there. I've got, I got wings. Now put the back side, just stick it on top of that, uh, the edge of the Oreo and push it into the Rice Krispie Treat. And you're almost there. Now, one thing we also discovered, you definitely need a towel to wipe off the frosting. All right, now, this is the coolest thing. It said you can make a white icing and you can pierce a hole in a little baggie and squares it out, and I found this, and it's called um, Sparkle Gel. And it said it was good for writing and accents, and it is. So now I'm gonna take one of these uh, chocolate drops and be sure that you put the frosting on the side that says Hershey's, <laughs> unless you want it going across your turkey's face. And stick that on top. And now this is the part. If you're doing it with your children, you might have to do this little part right here. I'll take my little gel pen. And you can actually, look, first you take off the lid. That helps. If you don't want to buy the candy eyes, you can actually just have the eyes just like that. Can you see that? I do have candy eyes. So I'm gonna stick them on there. And the last part, I take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off the tip of a candy corn. And I'm going to put some more of this white glue right there. And now I've got on the beak. Now, until the frosting sets, they're a little fragile. So I'll put that over there. And, and if you see, if you look over there and you see an eyeball on the tray or a beak down, okay, we'll just stick it back on. Okay, so let's do, we're not gonna do 28 like we did last, last week, but we're gonna do a few more. It's fun, your kids would love to do this together. And especially, you know, sometimes Thanksgiving Day can be kind of long because it takes a long time for the turkey to cook and you smell it all day and it smells so good and you're hungry. And it'd be good if you had something to do. I mean, you can watch football, but possibly you would rather do something else. And I suggest this would be a great thing. Okay. The recipe will be on the website. The only recipe really it is, is the recipe for the Rice Krispie treats and all the other stuff you need and a picture. And I, I say, try it.
try it, you, you will enjoy it. You will have a great time. Okay. All right, so now look at our cute little flock of turkeys. We had fun, we hope you did too. We hope you'll try this at home and have a very happy Thanksgiving. Say bye, Alex. Bye. Bye, Alex.